you got a problem with me and all my friends, then listen up. We don't give up! Why, hello there. It's Mr. McFlanagan, your old buddy, your old pal, your old chum. And we got some gameplay today on Firing Range. The, one of the greatest maps ever made. I love this map. Uh, almost no problems with it. It's just such a good map. And uh, I don't know if you guys have seen the new Walking Dead season finale. But I tell you what, I really thought it was cool. And when that sniper was on top of the roof, like I'm not giving anything away, but there was a sniper on top of the roof. And he shot at uh, the group, Rick and those guys, he shot like, I don't know, ten times. And the only thing I could think of was, hey man, you ain't Grizz, baby. You ain't Grizz, baby. <laughs> like, I don't know guys, that was so funny. But uh, I'm playing here on firing range and uh, got some ghost bitches in the house. And I'm using my old AK suppressed... The thunder, bringing the thunder from down under, baby. You gotta love this gun. I just love how it looks, love how it feels. This was a great gun. And uh, look at these guys. I'm all completely out of bullets. And I'm looking for a gun. I'm like, oh no, what am I gonna do? All I got is this Magnum. And I mean, the Magnum is good. It's really good. But uh, I don't know if I want to rush guys with a Magnum. But I know I killed that guy right there. And I go over here and I pick up this snipe and watch this is Grizz, baby. Ooh, I am Grizz. Even in Black Ops 1, you can still snipe people like crazy. I mean, it's way more balanced, but I definitely am Grizz. And uh, I had a pretty good streak roll in this, this match. This was a fun one. Some really cool stuff happened. And uh, I'm coming around this corner with a sniper rifle, and I'm not really confident with it. I don't use the sniper rifle that much, but watch this shit. I look up here, and I see a guy, okay? And this is a very smart, smart move. I'm kind of hard scoping, seeing if anybody's coming around the corner, waiting, because I know somebody's just wanting to rush me. And uh, I wait, send in the meat shield. See, there's the meat shield. See that guy? That's my little meat shield. Go in. Go in there. And I look up there. Got him. Oh, miss. Oh, come on. I can get him. Bam! Got him. I'm Grizz, baby. But uh, there's another thing I wanted to talk about was uh, skill gap in games. I feel like over the years, games have just kind of been like holding your hand, and everything is very easy. And I didn't know if maybe you guys had had the same experience. If you think games are getting just way too easy, I mean, and what's this guy doing? Get up, get off your butt. Come on now. There's things to do. Seize the day, sir. E pluribus unum. Come on now. And, uh, like I was saying, I think games are just holding our hand a little bit too much. Even with single-player play, I feel like things are just a little too easy. And I feel like that might be some of the problem people are having with Titanfall, is they're so used to multiplayer and games just being very, very easy, that they've forgotten how to adapt and forgotten how to change their play styles to different games. Because, I mean, let's face it, guys, in Call of Duty, there's only, like, two things you need to know. Left trigger, aim, right trigger, fire. I mean, that's really it. And then sprint. That's pretty much the whole entire game. I mean, you can, you can win games just doing that. And I feel like in Titanfall, people aren't used to having to jump and move and look for targets. You know, I just don't feel like that's uh, really important to people anymore. And also, there's a way to play that game if you want to get a high point score and you want to do really well. That's kind of hard to figure out, and I mean, even me, I had to go on Twitch, and I had to go on YouTube, and see what the really good players were doing. So guys, I'm saying, don't give up on Titanfall, because it is a hard game. It's not like Call of Duty, it's not just left trigger, right trigger, but I think you'll figure it out. And I'm hoping a lot of you guys try it, because it's a really fun game. Uh, I think it'll be cool, once 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 it gets going, it gets firing up on 360, but watch this shit. I'm spraying this guy with the FAMAS, cannot hit him, get no hit markers, and then watch this. Just dead out of nowhere. What killed me? What the hell killed me? Come on. Well, let's take a look at that from another angle. So I'm spraying that kid around the corner like you just seen. Crouch to reload. I'm stunned. And boom, I get knifed. And looky there, my dogs. My dogs come in and kill him just like a tenth of a second after. And look at this guy just slaying my dogs. So let's see if I get revenge on this guy or not. Let's see how long it takes. Oh ho 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 you just got slapped with my AK right across your forehead. There's a big mushroom stamp on you. I bet it hurts. You're going to be very, 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 very disappointed when you go into work tomorrow with that giant mushroom stamp across your face. But uh, the game is wrapping up, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. This was a really fast game on firing range. And uh, I appreciate you guys viewing. I appreciate all the likes and comments, guys. Thank you. It's Mr. McFlanagan. I was 31 and 1. Kick some butt. I really appreciate all your support, and I'm out of here. See you guys.